Hi, just a quick follow-up video to my previous LED ceiling light installation. Click here if you haven't seen it. Now, I was reminded that I actually forgot to do something which I was going to include in the video a test, and that's to see if turning on the lights actually caused any uh, you know, common mode noise issues that can be picked up on, you know, when I'm measuring stuff here on the bench and oh, yep, forgot to try it. So let's give it a go, compare the new lights to the old lights and see what the difference is. Now, what I've got here is my um, scope set to five millivolts uh, per division. I've just got a BNC to banana plug. I'm just, you know, AC coupling, measuring the output uh, noise of this power supply, like, you know, just there is something really simple, okay? And we can see that there's something there. Woo, look at that. That's, you can see that? That's my hand. There's noise, folks. Anyway, and that's picking up the switching noise from the screen inside the scope, which is coupling in. Anyway, let's not go there. I just noticed that. Uh, now, I've done a whole separate video on common mode noise and actually uh, trying to detect it in and things like that. So click here if you haven't seen that one as well. So I won't go into explaining common mode noise and all the different types of noise and pick up and everything else. That's too confusing. I just want to see if these new lights actually do anything at all. Okay, so I've actually got two switched on at the moment and so let's have a look at my screen here. Okay, so here's the noise with just two of my, the nine of my new uh, LED lights uh, turned on and you'll notice that there's a little spike there which I'm actually uh, triggering off. I won't touch the screen anymore, that's a bit bad. And we've got something happening in there. But let's go and turn the lights off and see if that goes away. Okay, I've got all my lights off in the lab, and nope, so those lights weren't causing that at all. It's got absolutely nothing to do with it. Okay, so I've got two of my lights on now. Now I'll go up to my next level, and I'll uh, turn on, I think, three more. And there we go. Still bugger all. And let's switch on the rest. Here we go and oh turn on i've now got nine lights on i've got all my lights on here and as you can see sorry about a little bit of glare on the screen there as you can see the new lights basically cause no noise whatsoever okay i'm back to two lights uh, here two new lights now let's plug in three of my old lights uh down beside me here here we go let's plug it in and see what we get three LED light panels. Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is an absolute shocker. The old ones were awful. Look at that! <laughs> and I disconnect and it goes away. Reconnect. Bingo! <laughs> there it is. Look, there's something seriously wrong with the switching converters, the crap one hung low brand switching converters in uh, well, to do with my old lights there. They were awful. Now actually I found a similar problem with these lights before in that when I would switch them all on I'd get extra noise. So I've actually narrowed it down to one particular switching plug pack here. And let me show you. So let's plug it in. And here we go. So we're getting all that shocking noise, but I'll disconnect the culprit. Here we go. Where is it? There we go. Gonski. Look at that. So now we're back to where we were before. So it was one particular plug pack. It actually wasn't all of the existing lights, um, you know, actually doing that. They will do it though, because the existing lights were capable of uh, pulse width modulation, i.e. dimming. I could actually, I had a remote control for the previous ones that I could actually dim. And if you dim them, yeah, you got some pretty horrible uh, noise all around the place, but uh, I always ran these on full brightness, so they weren't actually, um, uh, mod you know, pulse width modulating the lights. It was just, you know, constant current, like these, these new ones are, just continuous constant current. So really, these new lights, no problems whatsoever. Dodgy one hung low brand plug pack on the old one. Now I was actually powering that panel over there before and now I've actually switched it over to this one, try and diagnose the problem. Now this old one actually comes with um, two 
separate things. We've got the mains plug pack, which just gives a, uh, a standard uh, 24 volt DC output. And then we've got the actual constant current uh, driver itself. And I've narrowed it down to this plug pack. So I've taken this good panel that wasn't giving any switching noise before using its constant current regulator and plugging it into this dodgy power adapter, this one ung low one, that came from uh, literally one ung low. Like there is no brand on that whatsoever. It's just made in China. Thank you very much. This was the culprit. So this is actually, this plug pack is connected to uh, the mains here. So if there's no load on it, there's no problem whatsoever. There's no switching noise. But the second that we actually uh, load this sucker down, woohoo! There we go. There's all our horrible switching noise. What a piece of shit that plug pack is. So there you go, these new lights, no problems whatsoever in terms of uh, switching. Got a top quality plug pack there, as opposed to this piece of shit, and there's only one place for this. Catch you next time.